Today we're going to demonstrate some capabilities of the orchestration engine that comes with Puppet Enterprise. We will show how to use the discovery capabilities to select a subset of nodes and to do a code deploy to them using Puppet. First we need to discover the machines on our infrastructure that we wish to manage. We can do this using the mcofind command. mco stands for mcollective, which is the underlying technology used by the orchestration engine. Just typing mcofind shows us a list of nodes. If we add minus v. We can see that 29 nodes was found and it took 2 seconds. This discovery was done against the network. The actual manageable nodes on the network were found, but not unmanageable nodes or nodes that's crashed or anything like that because we're using the network as a source of truth. If you're looking to do a deploy though, you might have a list of nodes or you might have a CMDB or information provided by your cloud provider such as the EC2 API that you would want to use as the source of truth to make sure that you are able to deploy to all of the machines that you have on your infrastructure. The MCLEC discovery system supports plugging into various data sources and today we will show how to use the EC2 API as a discovery source. Again, we're going to do mcofind, but we're going to enable the EC2 discovery method and we're going to supply a query to limit this to a specific availability zone, EU West 1B. Now you can see that it's querying the EC2 API and it found 10 machines in the specific availability zone where previously we had 29. Using the same query and the same discovery method, we can ask Puppet for its status. And you would want to do this prior to the deploy just to make sure all the machines that you wish to manage are reachable and manageable by the orchestration engine. And what we can observe here is that one of the machines is not in a good manageable state. If we cancel this, you can see that there was a summary of the current status and in the end an error message saying one of the nodes are not responsive. This might be a node that's provisioned by EC2 but not fully provisioned by your public infrastructure or maybe there's just a software problem on the node. Using the information, we can investigate what's on and fix the problem. After fixing the problem on another screen, we can retry our command and we can see that all of the machines are now responding. We now know that all the machines we wish to deploy Puppet onto or run the next Puppet set of manifests are manageable by us and we can move on to the next step. For the next step, we want to make sure that Puppet isn't actually running. We don't want scheduled Puppet runs to interfere with our maintenance window. So we're going to use the orchestration engine to stop Puppet on all of the machines, matching the criteria that we wish to deploy to. The mcos service command goes, stops the service, and we get a summary stating 10 machines were stopped during this process. We can now run Puppet on the machines, but of course if you're doing a deploy, what you don't want to do is have a change to a service configuration, for instance, restart the web server on all of the nodes at the same time. You'd want to limit this to a subset of the 10 machines. And for example, we're going to run Puppet on all 10 machines, but we will do it in batches of two with a 10 second sleep in between them. Let's see how that does. Puppet run once. This just instructs Puppet to do a run. Minus S asks it to do a run immediately. Don't wait for any display configuration. We want to do this in batches of two, and we want to sleep for 10 seconds in between batches of two. It discovers the machines against the EC2 API and it will now trigger Puppet runs on the machines. You can see this is happening in batches of two with a sleep in between. The batch capability also can be used in a percentage basis, so you can ask it to only deploy to 10% of the available nodes, and that might be usable if you want to do canary deploys to a subset of your infrastructure, wait for your monitoring, wait for users to test, wait to see if there's any significant increase in performance on those canary hosts before you deploy out to the rest of your infrastructure. So Puppet has been triggered on all of the nodes and batches of two. You can see it took a bit longer than before. And we can now request the status again to make sure that went well. You can see we have the Puppet status. They all ran recently. None of them are currently running. Our runs are complete. And we are now ready to put our infrastructure back under normal regular management by the PE Puppet daemon. We will use the service command to start it. And in the previous command, you saw that summary of daemon running was all of them were stopped. We can verify now again, and you can see that there all of them are running. Okay, and that concludes our demonstration today. Thank you.